everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and this is day 28 of my book away. Let's get going. So we're going to be doing about cursed books, about how you should not read them, but you should if you want to at your own risk. Let's get going. But number one is The Orphan Story. Book 400 is really a new record because this book has been rejected that many times. Wow. <laughs> Written in the early 1600s by Martin de Leon Cardenas, the orphan story is a golden age novel about a 14-year-old Spaniard who heads to the Americans in search of fortune. While it may sound like a typical feel-good adventure story, a major darkness lurks within its pages that, the, that led to the novel not being published until 2018. Wow. Belinda Palachos, a Peruvian scholar who edited the book for two years, says that she was warned by multiple people about the orphan story. They told her that the book was cursed, and the reason it had taken so long to publish was that anybody who worked on it would die in mysterious ways. While initially she laughed it off, research showed that those who previously edited the book died in horrific car accidents on of strange illness. Alyssa remains alive and well two years after the book's release. So, wow. <laughs> she is still alive after the book. Wow. Number two, The Untitled Grimoires. The Untitled Grimoires is a set of two handwritten spiral bound spell books sold by an online retail retailer for nearly 14000 back in 2013. Holy. The books were handwritten in the 1960s by Pasquone Andrea Stia Erin, a high priestess of Rica who supposedly read her own coven. All 250 pages are filled with incantations, spells, enchantments, and details on how to summon spirits and demons. However, there is a serious catch. The seller warned bias that any non-believers who messed with the books would bring a deadly curse upon themselves. While Pasquale is herself explicitly tells readers on the first page that proceeding with the book will have serious consequences, she wrote, To those not of the craft, the reading of this book is forbidden. Proceed no further or justice will exact a swift and terrible retribution, and you will surely suffer at the hand of the craft. Since the absolute best way to get somebody to do something stupid is to tell them it's forbidden, I'm hoping they won't actually read the book, but we have stupid people in the world, so... Cool. The next one is the, the Book of the Sacred Magic of Abel Millen the Mage. So, Abel Millen gave his son a book full of mythical curses. That, since it was translated to English in 1900, this 15th century novel had, has, had, has had a reputation for being cursed. There are several theories why, but most believe it has to do with the mage's belief that everybody has their own, unique, personal demon. Throughout the book, he gives instructions for rituals and supernatural feats to bring your demons under control. Any paranormal enthusiast knows that it's risky to reach out and communicate with the spirit world. Thus, so obviously there has been reportings of this book have bad luck and haunting sweet spirits from another realm. Which why you should not ever do that. Unless you know what you're doing, you should not reach out to spirits in any way. The next one is the Grand Grimoire. When the book is nicknamed the Gospel of Satan, said to be written by a man possessed by the devil, this 16th century book is known as one of the most terrifying ocular books in existence. It contains dark incantations and instructions on how to summon demons and raise spirits from the dead. But this book's dark reputation makes it one of the most feared medieval manuscripts of all time. Even opening the book is considered equivalent to selling your soul to the devil. It's a good thing that the Grand Grimoire is not available for purchase. It's said that the original company is currently kept in the Vatican secret archives and not currently available to the public. My next one is the Voynich Manuscript. The Voynich Manuscript has become one of the most mysterious and feared books of all time. Written in the 15th century, all 240 pages are inscribed in an indecipherable language that has frustrated and cursed people with bad luck for years. While countless historians and researchers have tried to crack the code, none have been successful. Was it written by people from another country, an unknown species, alien life? 
Nobody knows, but it's been long speculated that a fatal curse will be unleashed on anybody who finally unlocks this terrifying language. Okay kids, get your pens and papers and blades and we're gonna crack this code. I'm just kidding, don't do that. My next one is the Conus Gigas. Maybe legend has it that the 165 pounds and 3 feet height manuscript were written at some point between 1204 and 1230 by a single monk, possibly Hermanus Hermitus or Hermanus who was sentenced to be rolled up alive for breaking his vows. However, he struck a deal to save his soul. If he managed to write a book attaining all the world's knowledge in a single night, he would be spared. When he realized that it was an impossible task, he then summoned Satan to get some help. In exchange, Neville would include a detailed self-portrait in one of his pages, being the reason why it receives the name The Devil Bible. My next book is The Necronomicon. Inspired by an H.P. Lovecraft story, this book was published in the 70s by anonymous author only identified by the pen name Simon. The first editions, only 666 copies, of course it's that number, were released, were bound in letter but later on lit would be published in paperback, becoming an immediate bestseller. In this version's prologue, Simon claims that this is no fictional book by the translation of Greek manuscript containing the Necronomicon. This version mixes Poseidon's Sumerian mythology with Lovecraft's universe and includes rituals that supposedly allow the reader to summon the gods and demons of this myth. It also has been linked to satanic search as it also alludes to Alistair Crowley's teaching. My next one is Tomino's Hill. Rather than a book, it's a cursed poem included in Sekin a poem compilation dating back to 1919 by Japanese poet and songwriter Seiyo Yasuo. It tells the journey of a tomono, Tomino, a young boy who has been sent to hell after he committed an unforgettable sin. The poem later served as inspiration for a film called Pastoral, to die in a country directed by Suji Terayama. The filmmaker died nine years later and somehow the poem was blamed for it. According to some Japanese book scholars, the stigma around the poem is something that was born in the West, since there are no traces of it being considered a curse in Japan. And those are all the books that have cursed within them. So let me know which one's your favorite. Mine's probably the Grand Grimoire or the Tiny Grimoires. So. Is that interesting? I am into that sort of stuff. Will I read it or buy it? No, <laughs> obviously you can't anyways, but yeah, so let me know what you like and like what you like and please like, comment, subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!